Okay, so today we have a bio MCAT question of the day. Um, and so for this question, it's on glycolysis and it asks, um, a eukaryotic cell in just one molecule of glucose, how many ATP molecules are produced in the metabolism of glucose in the presence of oxygen? Um, and so the choices are 2, 30, 32, and 34. Okay, so the first thing we want to do um, is we want to figure out um, the different steps and how much ATP, how much NADH, how much FADH2 are produced in each step. Um, so the first thing we do is um, glucose. We're starting with glucose. Um, and the first thing is, is in glycolysis. So glycolysis, it's not so much important the enzymes. All we need to know are the end products. So the end product of uh, glycolysis would be 2 ATP and 2 NADH and also 2 pyruvate okay? and so this 2 pyruvate is shuttled um, through the PDC complex and out of that we're going to get 2 acetyl-CoA plus 2 NADH okay, so always keep track of how many ATPs, how many NADHs uh, we have total and these 2 acetyl-CoA's are going to go in the TCA cycle, otherwise known as the Krebs cycle. Um, and what is our uh, byproducts going to be? Well, of course, we're going to get two CO2. We're going to get um, six NADH, two ATP, and two FADH2s. Okay, so this is not important. The CO2 is not important uh, for this question, but it is very important um, in terms of uh, metabolism of glucose when they ask you what's the final product. CO2 is, is a very important thing to remember. Not so much for this question. Um, so what we want to do next is we want to add up everything. So let's count up how many ATPs we had, how many NADH, and how many FADH2. All right, so right here I see two ATPs. Um, and I see two more right there. So we have four total. Number of NADH, we have two, four, and ten. Um, so two plus two plus six equals ten. FADH2, I just see two. Um, so we have four, ten, and two. And I know you guys learned something different possibly um, in your actual classes. Uh, but NADH in the electron transport chain, um, for the MCAT purposes, for every one NADH, we're going to get 2.5 ATP. So this will be 25 total. And for every two, for every one FADH2, we're going to get 1.5 ATP. So that would be three. Um, and so if we add these all up, to get the number of ATP, we should get 32 ATP. And this is for eukaryotic cells. Um, so 32 ATP is our answer. And if we look back here, the answer is C. That is our answer right there. Hey guys, remember to post any questions, comments, or requests down below. Thanks for watching.